So the thing that I'm really worried about <laughs> is the hair. And I'm worried every single time I edit a picture about this. It's just, I don't know if it ever gets better, but I still worry. So what I want to do is choose the background eraser tool because that's the tool that we had the most luck with before when we were trying to do this. And I'm just going to leave it on all the settings that we last had. So my tolerance is at 62%. My brush maybe could be a little smaller. Let's see what it does. I'm nervous, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so now we're getting a sense of what this is doing. I erased a little bit too much on her hair, but I am utterly thrilled to see that piece of hair there being cut out. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, were you holding your breath? Because I was like, I don't know about this. So I'm going to have to play with this a little bit. I'm going to have to adjust my brush just slightly because I don't want to start erasing her hair. I'm seeing ocean behind her head now. That's why it's turning blue. So let's step back and let's see what we can do. Maybe we'll take the tolerance down. Let's see what that does. We'll make the brush size smaller. And we're just going to play to see what's going on here. That's not bad. I'm not mad at it. What do you think? Okay. I like it. Oops. <laughs> I don't like that. So let's step back. And I'm just going to do this to this side of the head where it's working really well. So what I do, oh, you guys, just pretend like I didn't do that. OK, so what I always do when I'm editing is this exact process of saying, I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try it. OK, now let's make an adjustment. Go back in history. Try it again. Try it again. Try it again. And I'm always just checking to see what's going to work and what's not going to work. So I like that our hair is cutting out. I like that I, I know that I can still see the backdrop there, but that's not a really big deal. I can erase that regularly as long as it's OK right around the hairs. So I'm not too worried about that. This area we definitely need to work on, though. And so I need to be a little bit more delicate with how I'm moving in between these hairs. I don't want to get too close. We'll get right along there. Do I have approval? I will continue this, but do you see anything glaring like right there, which we are going to fix? And like that, don't do that either. I'm just going to keep making my brush size smaller so I can get in between the hairs a little bit better now. But I'm not worried like I would be if I were using like the regular layer mask to do this. Because the layer mask is going to say, I'm just going to erase everything and you don't have a choice in the matter. But this is saying, I'm still working for you. I'm going to try to make your picture better. and It's all going to be OK. <laughs> all right, so maybe we'll get a little bit more in here, a little bit more in there. But in general, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that it's a pretty good cut. And the only other thing that I would do now is to se select and really section off this portion of her hair. And with replace color, select that white color and then change it to be darker and a little bit more blue so then it blends in with the background really well. So with the lasso tool, I'm going to select right through here. Maybe we'll select this as well. We'll come over here and we'll select this portion. We'll get you in there too. Okay. So we've selected the edges of her hair, and I'll feather that just for good measure to make sure that it's going to be um, a nice soft transition in case we get any white parts that are on the edge. So I'll take that feather slider up, mm, a little bit less, 20, 20 pixels or so. And now I'm going to zoom in a lot so then I can really get my eyedropper tool on the white portions inside the hair. I am clicked on the actual layer, not the layer mask. That way I'm going to make my adjustment to the pixels that are actually there. Image, adjustments, replace color. And I'm going to try to select right on the white there. So I don't really know how much I've selected, how little, because what we're working with is so minuscule that this graph isn't really telling me very much. So I'm just going to start to play with the hue, saturation, and lightness. So I'm going to take the lightness down. We can see that's working pretty well. Maybe take that fuzziness slider up. I like that. And I'm changing the color, which is hardly doing anything. So instead of just guessing at what that's doing on my computer, instead I'm just going to click that little box and see if we can play with the color here. So I'm moving it up into the blue section. So at least now I know that we're getting a blue color in there. There we go. And OK. 
All right, so I like her hair now. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to continue cutting out the rest of her body, which I'm going to do really quickly because I don't want to spend a ton of time trying to, you know, cut meticulously. But this kind of process would take me, I would say, about 30 minutes of intense concentration. So I'm not going to sit here and intensely concentrate on this for 30 minutes, um, but I am going to start to erase pretty quickly through this area so then we can move on. So again, I'm just taking that hardness up, taking my sides down, and I'm going to make sure that we can just cut along the edges here. Okay, so what I wanna do now is I could probably come in here with that background eraser tool and I could probably take care of a lot of this in terms of um, the cutting where there's contrast and stuff like that, but I would rather not do that because it, it's very likely just going to give me a headache um, because it's not going to work perfectly. And if it doesn't work perfectly, then it might as well not work at all. So I'm going to avoid that. And I'm just gonna get in around her elbow here. I'm kind of shaving off some of her arm, which is okay. And get rid of that. Okay, now I just need to get in the nooks and crannies. So I need to zoom in here a little bit. And I can see that I should have maybe adjusted the hardness through here which is something that we can always go back in and do because I can paint that back in and then try one more time through there. So I do this a lot where I don't really mind if I cut somebody's skin off a little bit. Um, and so I'll do that where it doesn't matter as much, like on a straight arm or something like that. And now I'm gonna get in this little part right there. Okay, so now we're coming over here and we're gonna do the same thing. Oops, I erased a chunk of your dress, didn't I? We'll get that back and up into the corner. Make the brush smaller. I wish that there was a much faster way of doing this, but alas, creating your dream takes a long time, I guess. 